China also claims the property and he is in possession. Yan ang problema. Sila yung in possession and claiming all the resources there as an owner. This is one of the issues President Rodrigo Duterte stressed in his State of the Nation address or SONA yesterday. However, for National Security Advisor Hermogenes Esperon, what the President said is that China is in possession and not in possession of the West Philippine Sea. According to Esperon, though it is true that China has been able to build artificial islands in the disputed territories, it does not possess the entire West Philippine Sea. I think... Uh... The president said, did not say that they are in possession. Yes. But they are in position. So they have the positional advantage right now. And they have the equipment to enforce their position. On this, Defense Secretary Delphine Lorenzana agrees, noting that the president pertained only to Scarborough Shoal that has been controlled by the Chinese since the previous administration. Senior Associate Justice Antonio Carpio also debunks the president's claim, saying that China is only in possession of seven features in the Spratleys, Scarborough Shoal, and Sandy Cay, which are less than 7% of the entire West Philippine Sea. The security advisor admits China has gained control in its positions in the West Philippine Sea. That's why what the Philippines needs is to strengthen its capabilities in its maritime domain. Our fisheries boats... Coast Guard ships and, of course, the Navy and the Air Force have strengthened their capa have added to their improved their capability to have more uh, control over our domain, which is the West Philippine Sea. The National Security Advisor adds some of the improvements to be launched include the airport expansion on Pagasa Island, deployment of unmanned aerial vehicles, and satellite imagery. Another was the building of five new lighthouses, in addition to the existing lighthouses established within and outside of the country's Exclusive Economic Zone, or EEZ. The lighthouse may be a simple structure, but it serves the purpose of safety of life at sea and navigation, and it also means our sovereign right, sovereignty on the islands themselves. Esperon, who also chairs the National Task Force on the West Philippine Sea, stresses that they prioritize to resolve maritime disputes through diplomatic protest. He says they have filed a diplomatic protest before the Chinese Embassy as their first move in resolving the Recto Bank incident. We have not abandoned any island. No island was taken from us uh, since 2016 and we are strengthening our positions and possessions. Harleen Delgado, UNTV News and Rescue, Kazan City.